Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to Al Khalif TV. The two representatives of Islamic countries, President Rajab Tayyip Erdogan, sent Turkey's ambassador to Israel. As you know that he withdrew his ambassador from Israel in 2018 after killing Palestinian protesters by Israeli army. This decision came out later when America announced sanctions over Turkey. America put these sanctions because of Turkey had made a commitment with Russia on buying the advanced S-400 air defense system from Russia. What these sanctions mean for NATO, the sections imposed in Turkey by the United States on Monday under the countering America's adversaries through Sanctions Act are have several effects. President Donald Trump's administration imposed sanctions for Turkey's purchase of Russian S-400 air defense system, which the U.S. has said is incompatible with the NATO equipment and a potential threat to allied security. The sanctions targeted Turkey's presidency of defense industries, the country's military procurement agency, Ismail Demir, and other officials said. The ejection of Turkey from the F-35 stealth jet program in July 2019 demonstrated just how serious Washington was in relaying its displeasure at Turkey's insistence it bought Russian air defense equipment rather than American. What will be the future of Turkey and NATO? The positions rapidly hardening between Washington and Ankara, the potential for a Turkish exit from NATO is now a possibility. But at the same time, Turkey also made a clever decision and sent his ambassador to Israel in order to normalize the relations and to have a table talk with America and Israel. The top U.S. general meets Taliban negotiators. America's most senior general met Taliban peace negotiators on Thursday to org a reduction in violence, according to the United States military. Mark Miley, the chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, met negotiators in Doha, Qatar, before flying to Kabul to meet Afghan President Ashraf Ghani. Before that, Prime Minister Imran Khan also talked with Ashraf Ghani on telephone. A delegation of Taliban also met with Pakistani Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in Islamabad. But the Taliban and the Afghan government are holding peace talks in Doha. Senior U.S. officials have warned publicly that an increase in Taliban violence is endangering the talks. The United States is drastically reducing the number of its troops in the country ahead of the end of the Trump administration in January. Let's move to France. French President Emmanuel Macron tests positive for COVID-19. According to his office, the 42 years old Emmanuel Macron tests after sentence appeared and will now isolate for seven days, the Elysee Palace said in a statement. But now Mr. Macron is still in charge of running the country and will work remotely. According to official sources, there have been 2 million confirmed cases in the country since the epidemic began, with more than 59,400 deaths, according to the data from the Johns Hopkins University. The United States Navy said that they are more assertive in countering China in Pacific. The U.S. military has warned that its warship would be more assertive in responding to violations of international law, citing in particular Beijing, which it accused of having expansionist ambitions in the South China Sea. A document that shows the objective for the U.S. Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard for the upcoming years, the Pentagon said that Russia and China are contesting the balance of power in the key regions and seeking to undermine the existing world order. They further said that our globally deployed naval forces interact with Chinese and Russian warships in aircraft daily. The document further said that growing aggressiveness in calling China the most pressing long-term strategic threat. You should be informed that the latest incident between the US and China naval forces took place in late August when Beijing said it had driven an American warship from the disputed Paracel archipelago. Lego. A good news for tourists, Thailand relaxed travel curbs for tourists from more than 50 countries. Thailand has eased travel restrictions for citizens from 56 countries in a bid to boost the country's pandemic hit tourism industry. Although visitors will be required to undergo a mandatory two-week hotel quarantine. 
tourists from different countries like Australia, France and United States can travel without visas but would need a certificate to show they were free of COVID-19. The report will be taken 72 hours before travel and a reservation at a quarantine hotel. This is said by Taiwanians Wins Unions, the spokesman for Thailand's COVID-19 task force. He further said that visitors would then be subject to a two-week quarantine period after arriving and further is that the normal 30-day visa would be extended to 45 days. Good news for Nigerian. Hundreds of Nigerian schoolboys released, according to the local government. Hundreds of schoolboys who were kidnapped in northern Nigeria nearly a week ago have been released, a local official said late on Thursday after protests were held earlier in the day demanding the boys' safe return. The state governor, Aminu Bello of Katsina, said in a televised interview with the state channel NTA that 344 boys held in the Rogo forest in the neighboring Zamfara state had been freed. He further said that we have recalled most of the boys, but not all of them. The newly elected president of United States, Joe Biden, said that he will make cybersecurity as a top priority of his administration. He said that after an attack in the U.S. and other computer systems, around the globe that officials suspect was carried out by Russian hackers. He also said that stronger defense are not enough. We need to disrupt and deter our adversaries from undertaking significant cyber attacks in the first place. He further said that we will do that by, among other things, imposing substantial costs on those responsible for such malicious attacks, including in coordination with our allies and partners. The Cyber Security and Infrastructure Security Agency said in its most details commenced yet that the intrusions had compromised federal agencies as well as critical infrastructure in a sophisticated attack that was hard to detect and will be difficult to undo. Another news from the Biden administration, Biden said that he will nominate first ever Native American cabinet secretary. The newly elected President Joe Biden will nominate U.S. Representative Deeb Holland to serve as his interior secretary, according to a person familiar with this matter. You know that Helen, a Democratic congresswoman for New Mexico since 2019, would be the first Native American cabinet secretary and the first to oversee the department whose jurisdictions include tribal lands. Helen was the leading candidate for the job, which would give her authority over a department that employs more than 70,000 people across the United States and oversees more than 20% of the nation's surface, including tribal lands in national parks like Yellowstone and Yosemite. Swedish king blast country's failed COVID-19 response. The king of Sweden has said the country has failed in its response to COVID-19 as hospitals in the Stockholm region warned they were struggling to cope with the surge in the cases and food showed public confidence and the authorities had flung to a new law. He also added that the people of Sweden have suffered tremendously in different conditions and I think we have failed. We have a large number who have died and that is terrible. These comments were initially taken as a criticism of Sweden's controversial anti-lockdown strategy but the royal court later said the king was referring to the whole of Sweden and the whole society as showing empathy for all those affected. The their royal intervention came after the two major Swedish regions of Stockholm and Scania announced they had been forced to postpone non-emergency operations as the country's health sector strains to deal with the second wave of infections. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Al-Khalaf TV and be with us for top news of the world.